Dude, what are you doing? I was late to class, so I decided not to go. Me too, I was late. Do you want to go to the park? I don't think we should. Come on, I took some beer from my aunt. We can go drink and then come back for lunch. I have to take a test. You can make up the test, it's fine. Okay, fine, let's go. I want to have fun the rest of my year. I don't want to worry about tests or homework or anything. Just go to the park, have some fun, and come back. Oh, is this your aunt's car? Yeah, she let me take it for the weekend since she's not using it. Super nice. Thanks. Yo, speaking business, better mind your own. What? Talking loud, never mind your tone. Futuristic, been setting trends. You late, you probably got a house phone. Uh -huh. Nerd rap with the money trap. Yeah. Put the whole city on my back. Yeah. Take a lot of cats around the world. If you act up, you ain't coming back. And bottle of vodka. <laughs> now everybody come see me. I get more paper than TV. Greedy. Jump, 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 jumping through the lanes. Watch me double touch. Double spin a million in a year so I could double up. Ain't no ceilings in my building because we coming up. Double cup. You don't feel us get hit with an uppercut. Tired of hitting the layup. Dude, it's time to be balling. I'm going to need you to go pay up. Only be filling my wallet. Up, taking it way up, you know that we going all in. I, I, I can never crawl, I ain't got no time at all. I, I had to hit in the layup, shoot it, it's time to be ballin'. I, I, I'ma need you to go pay up, only be filling my wallet. I, I, speed it up, taking it way up, you know that we going all in. I, I, I can never crawl, I ain't got no time at all. You couldn't catch up if you wanted to. I gotta do something that's all. It's my mom. Don't answer, don't answer. It's fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. Don't do it. Paige. Hello? Hi. Yeah, we're at school. Yeah, we're going to get something to eat. We're on our way. Paige. We'll be there. Sorry. We went to eat something. All right. We have to go. That was my mom. We have to go. We got to grab everything. We have to get everything. Let's go. I'm driving. No, you're not driving. It's my car, Paige. I'm driving. No. You drink too much. I'm fine. Paige, it's fine. I can drive. I don't think you're safe to drive. No, Paige, I'm fine. Come on. I don't I don't you're safe to drive. I think more than one. I think I should really be driving. Hey, what's up, Cam? You trying to go get something to drink? Sure, bro, I'm bored anyway. Let's get out of here. Stay in your lane. Stop serving. I haven't seen you in a bit, man. I know, bro. It's been a while. We're gonna get caught. Stop swerving. Yeah, man. So how's that wrestling been going? Pretty good. I made a Masters this year. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. So how about you? Man, football, it's been going pretty good. I've been out to a couple camps. I got out to Elite 11 last week. You just ran the red light. So which car are we taking? Uh, actually, we're taking my aunt's car. She's lending it to me for the week because my, my car's in the shop. Slow down, you're going the wrong way. Slow down. Cameron, wake up. Bro, wake up. Cameron.
Okay, what do I do? I'm calling 911. 911, what is your emergency? There's been an accident, and I think there's alcohol involved, and I don't know what to do. Where are you? Santana High School. How many cars are involved? There's two cars. Is there people in the car? Breathing. 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 Yeah, there's um, two people in one car and two people in the other. And, um, right, 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 right. Well, we arrived on scene of this two-vehicle TC. We have one 1144 in this vehicle already. The driver is awake and conscious, appears to be ETOH under the influence. We have some uh, beer cans around the scene here. under arrest for DUI. You have the right have to remain right silent. Anything, Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. You have the you right have to the right presence of an attorney for and during any questioning. If you cannot you afford an attorney, attorney, one will be appointed for you free of charge before any questioning if you want. Do you understand? I'm Officer Wozniak with the Highway Patrol. The reason I'm here is today to inform you that your daughter Paige was involved in a car accident. Your daughter Paige sustained serious injuries which caused her to pass away. responding so that's not good uh, but we'll keep we'll keep evaluating him the whole way up to mercy hospital okay you know where that's at belt restrained driver of a vehicle that was hit head on by another vehicle traveling 35 to 45 miles an hour. As far as injuries, unconscious, unresponsive, unable to elicit any movement at this point. Uh, last set of vitals, blood pressure was 78 over 34, heart rate was 46, O2 sat 100% on a non rebreather uh, treatment. Spinal precautions, uh, 18 gauge in the left AC, I started a 500 ml fluid bolus. Uh, I have patient number two in the back of the ambulance. Let's get him over. Could you help lift? Okay. All right. Ready? Yeah. 
Ready, one, two, three. Feel a pulse. Did he uh, lose pulses in the rig? Or? He was losing pulses in the rig. We would get him back on occasion. And Let's then, get him uh, on the monitor. All right, let's start bagging him. See anything on the monitor? You got any Sicily on the monitor? No, nah, there's no cardiac activity. I'm afraid he's already passed. Time of death, 11:20. Hi, camera's mother. Hi, I'm, I'm Dr. Seiss. Hi. I'm sorry to have to tell you, Cameron was in a terrible car crash and he died. He was gone before he got here. I'm almost certain he didn't suffer. You can be with him in a few moments. hit by another vehicle head-on, 35 to 45 miles an hour. Uh, as far as injuries, he's got uh, lower leg paralysis, unable to get any uh, movement or sensation from the lower legs. I uh, do have good pulses as far as vitals, blood pressure 116 palpated, heart rate was 80, sinus on the monitor, 100% sat, treatment 18 gauge IV, left AC, and uh, spinal contractions. Hey, I'm Dr. Seiss. Let's check you over here. Where do you hurt right now? Oh, my back. Your back? All right. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath. Is it hurt in your tummy at all? No. All right. Hurts here on your back? Yeah. All right. All right. Can you feel me touch you down here? No. How about down here? No. Feel me touch you up over here? Yes. All right. You hurt your back, OK? We're going to get a CAT scan. Your folks will be able to be with you in a few minutes. This is the Temple family, Dr. Seiss. Hi, I'm Dr. Seiss. Yes, sir. Your son was in a bad car crash. He's stable right now, but he can't move from the waist down. <laughs> He's injured his back very badly. We don't know yet how badly. We're getting a CAT scan and neurosurgery is going to be seeing him. He's stable and you can be with him. State of California in and for the East County of San Diego is now in session. The Honorable Eddie C. Sturgeon, Judge presiding. Please be seated and come to order. All right, Council, good afternoon. This is the people of the State of California versus Sierra Galvez. There are three counts. Their count one is a violation of Penal Code Section 191.5, which is gross vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated. Count two is also the same thing, a violation of Penal Code Section 191.5, gross vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated. Count three is a felony driving under the influence causing great bodily injury. And then count four is the multiple victims enhancements. It's my understanding at this time the defendant has pled not guilty all these counts. Let's proceed with the preliminary examination. My investigation determined that a Sierra Galvis was driving at a high rate of speed and on the wrong side of the road. She was the primary factor to this traffic collision. The result of the first pass test was a 
0.15. Paige was a good friend. She thought about others, played sports all four years in school, and a part of ASB. What do I even begin to tell Gio? <laughs> How do I let him know that she won't be coming home? I can't imagine my life without Cameron. I can't imagine um, not seeing his smile every day. That one mistake you make in your life will have possibly lasting repercussions. I hope you realize the decisions that you've made have affected these lives in ways that you cannot change in a reset in time. Sorry doesn't seem to be a, a word that I can, uh, I can say today. Um, guilt and shame, remorse for the loss of lives that, uh, that were taken for a decision that my daughter made. I'm just sorry. My daughter made a very, very bad decision, and it's something that she is going to have to live with for the rest of her life. I know there's nothing I can say or do to take back the actions that I made. But I just want you guys to know that I'm so sorry for getting behind that wheel drunk. And I will continue to live my life in regret knowing that I took away Nathan's ability to walk and the lives of Cameron and Paige. And I just, I don't, I can't even put it into words how I'm feeling. I'm just so sorry and I regret everything I did. Sierra Galvis is a young woman who has been an exemplary member of her student body, of her community. As hard as it is, I have to stand before you and ask you to put a young 17-year-old woman in prison. In the state of California, if you are under the age of 21, you can have no alcohol in your system. You have to understand when you make these voluntary choices, that if something of this magnitude happens, justice will be severe. I've got a young man that's never going to walk in his life again. That weighs heavily on this court. Count two, the defendant will be sentenced to the Department of Correction for another 10 years. Those two sentences will run consecutive. We're at 20 years. For the multiple victims, there were three victims in this case, that's another three years. That will also run consecutive. So the defendant will be sentenced to the Department of Corrections for 26 years. Dennis, get her out of here. Have a seat. Someone ready to pick you up.